Hello again. In our last lecture, we introduced what PGP is and why it was devised. Today, let's talk a little bit more about the technical details. All right. But let me just remind you, PGP was an email encryption program devised by Phil Zimmerman in the 80s and 90s. Uh, uses the best available cryptographic algorithms, integrates those into a general purpose system that the average person can use. Uh, pack, it's available online free to anybody that wants to use it and also available in a commercial version. Okay, PGP supplies uh, five basic services. Authentication, confidentiality, compression, email compatibility, and segmentation. Now the two that you really care about are authentication and confidentiality. That is, if I receive a message from somebody, how do I know that it really came from them? And if I send a message, do I, can I send it confidentially so that no eavesdropper can, can listen in? And we're going to talk about those two in this lecture. OK, so what's, what's authentication? Well, we talked about it earlier in this series of lectures. And remember, the way that you get authentication often is to use digital signatures. So you sign a message, and that way you know that it came from the uh, party that you think it came from. right? If you can decrypt the signature with the public key of that person. Well, how does it work in PGP? Well, um, you see on this slide, particularly at the bottom, what happens is that you send a message. Well, you, you come up with a message that you want to send. And I want it to be signed so that I know it came from S in this case. Right. So I take the hash of the message, uh, sign that with the uh, private key of the sender, that is uh, K sub S uh, private key, and then I append that to the message and I send the whole thing. Now, what does the receiver do or, or know from this? Well, they know that it must have originated with S because nobody else could have signed it because nobody else has S's public key, excuse me, private key. And you can verify that with S's public key. Now, notice you don't have confidentiality here. You're sending the message in the clear. But you know that the message was uncorrupted and it actually came from S. And that's what you care about. The other important piece that you might want is you might want confidentiality. Uh, and the way that works, we see it here on the bottom of this screen, you take the message, you generate a new session key, which presumably has not been used before or not in any way that can be recovered, encrypt the message with a session key using the best symmetric encryption. Then how does the receiver get the key? Well, you encrypt the key with the receiver's public key. And then you package the whole thing together and send it to the receiver. So now when the receiver gets this, he can use his private key to extract the session key from the first part and then use the session key to decrypt the message. Now, why not just take the message and encrypt it with the receiver's public key? Well, you certainly could do that. But if you remember when we talked about public key encryption, uh, public key encryption takes possibly 10,000 times as long as symmetric encryption. And this way, you know that what you're encrypting with the public key is a certain fixed length. It's just a key, maybe 160 bits or 128 bits. But the message may be arbitrarily long. And so we use the advantages or get the advantages of uh, symmetric encryption on this long message. But we use public key encryption very efficiently just to encrypt the session key. OK, if you want to get both confidentiality and authentication, well, then you just take these two pieces and put them together. You know, just compose uh, the authentication piece and the confidentiality piece. Works pretty well. OK, so what have we said in this lecture? We said PGP offers five services, two that you really care about, and the others are just there sort of to make things work well. Uh, the two that we talked about were authentication and confidentiality, and those two can be combined. And typically what happens if you sit in a, uh, a PGP encrypted email session, you just click a button to say whether you want your message to be authenticated or confidential or both, and PGP just takes care of all of that for you. Thanks.